Good morning, guys. Welcome to Coffee with Compassion. It's Pastor Jason. So glad, excited that you joined me this morning. Hey, just real quick, do you think God's Word is just a memorandum on how to do and how not to do, or is there some deeper spiritual understanding we need? You know, I think most believers would agree that the Word of God is more uh, more than a simple do's and don'ts and more than a list of those kind of things, uh, more than just, oh, well, this is how you live and this is how you don't live. You know, most, But so many times in our prayers, so many times in our study of the Word of God, when we're looking through it, we look through it with that lens. Well, how can I just go about my day? Or how can I... Um, get through this situation. God, what do you want me to do here? Give me a list of do's. What do you want me to do? Give me a list of don'ts. Where do you not want me to go? Just tell me how to handle my circumstance. Well, I think God's word is certainly good for that. I think we need to have a, a, a deeper level of spiritual understanding when it's ministering to us, when we're, when we're reading it and examining it. You know, in Deuteronomy 6.6, 6, uh, Moses wrote these words, which I'm commanding you today shall be on your heart. That's God speaking. Go on to verse 8. He writes, Tie them to your hands, wear them on your forehead as reminders. You know, these words, they're God's words. They're to be, he goes on to say, these need to be passed from generation to generation. Moses writes that God has commanded his words to be on people's foreheads. He commands that they be on their wrist so that they won't forget. These are his, his commands. These are his promises. These are his ways, his words. Bind them to your wrist and head. You know, I'm going to diverge here a little bit, but I promise I'll come back to the point of, of today's message. But, you know, just a little side lesson that I want to communicate to everyone. You know, so much of Scripture, uh, the guidelines that it gives to our faith, so much of it is, is literal and so much of it is figurative. And I don't know about you, but many times that can be really hard to, to sort out. How do we know something is literal or figurative? You know, I mean, the scholars will tell you, well, if you look at the Greek here, if you look at the Hebrew here, we, we can't all do that. We're not all, all, all able to, to look at the original language, but the truth is, and I believe this with all my heart, God's word is for everyone. I don't care if you're a theologian who's studied for 100 years or you're new to the faith. God's word is for you, and there is a way through the Spirit of God that it can minister to you. You know, in the New Testament, the Pharisees actually did what Deuteronomy said. They put boxes on their heads. They were called phylacteries. They still have them today. Uh, the, the many Orthodox Jews wear them. They're little leather boxes where they would have little tiny scriptures written on a scroll and stuffed in the box, or they would have a, a little box on their wrist where they did the same thing. Now, these phylacteries, they would wear around showing everyone how righteous they were, but it, it, if you've read any part of the gospel, you know that Jesus called them vipers. He called many of the Pharisees empty tombs. He, he, he chastised them at every opportunity he got. So obviously, following the Deuteronomy verse literally, they weren't living up to what Jesus expects. So what's the scripture telling us? Should we be wearing boxes on our heads? I mean, I want to pass to my children, generation after generation, I want to pass God's word. Should I be wearing something on my head with these scriptures in it? Should I be walking literally in what that scripture says? I want to give you two tips. Two tips on how to interpret scripture, how to know when it's literal, how to know when it's figurative. Number one, does the literal action or the figurative action push God's spiritual mission? Does it allow God's spiritual mission to go for, for, forth? In this case, wearing a leather box on your head with God's written words in it, it doesn't do anything spiritually for you. You can wear that box all day long, you're not going to get it by osmosis. It's not going to transform you. It's not going to have much of a spiritual effect, except in maybe your outward look. People might think you're pious. But the fact is, it will do nothing to change you. Number two, when you're examining Scripture, always remember this. I implore you. It's something I've taught for years. Always remember this. Our interpersonal relationship with Jesus Christ. When we're dealing with Jesus, when he's talking to us, showing us things, when he's ministering to us, his primary concern in ministering to us is always our heart and soul. He is never primarily considered with the outside of you. 
He's never primarily considered with how you look. He's never primarily considered with how how you appear. He wants your heart first and foremost every single time. So, so you know, we as people are so quick to judge outward appearances. But that's not how Jesus operates. When you operate that way, you are subjecting yourself to many misjudgments and many wrong understandings of situations you walk you walk into. So he's always primarily considered with, or concerned about the heart. When we're taking a look about what an actual box on our head would do, is it going to change your heart? Nope. Is it going to influence your heart? Mm-mm. Probably not in a positive way at least. But yet Moses still wrote that scripture. He still, God spoke to him. Bind these things on your forehead. Bind these things on your wrist. So so what's he telling us? What What, what is the figurative meaning then? Well, it's this, guys. God's word. When we bind it to our forehead, you think about your forehead. What's at your forehead? Your mind. Your mind is the filter to your heart and soul. When you are thinking about things, when you take things in, you filter life outside into you. When you're reading things, when you're watching things, when you're interpersonal react relationships with others, as you take things in, he's saying, filter it through the truth of God's word. Do not let anything that lines up does not line up with God's word into your heart and soul. You protect your mind. You protect your soul by binding it on your forehead, meaning this, by knowing the word in your mind where it becomes a steel trap to protect your mind and soul. Number two, bind it on your wrist. What is the wrist uh, representative of? Well, your hands do what? Your hands go out. Your hands are representative of work. Your hands are representative of doing. It's the same thing. When you, not only when you take things in, but when you put things out, when you put things into the world, when you give things to others, filter it through the truth of God's word. Let God's word be your guide in how you go forth in the world, guys. Bind these things on your heart or on your head. Bind these things on your wrist. Let God's word be your God. And in these times, we need that more than ever. So pray with me. Father, I just thank you so much for your word. I thank you that you're good to us, Lord. I pray, God, that your word would be our guiding light, Lord, that the Spirit of God speaking to our heart would would help give us understanding, that the Spirit of God speaking to our heart, Lord, would help us to see your truth, Lord, and that we would walk in that, Lord, as we take things in. We don't let lies come into our life. As lies are filtered into our mind, that the Word would be a steel trap and not let that sink down into our heart and soul, Lord. And as we go forth in the world, Lord, we wouldn't just lash out or, or, or act in ways, God, that we think is right, but that we would let your Word be our light, that you would, we would let your Word be our guide in the times, Lord. I thank you so much for who you are. I thank you for your truth. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me today. Remember to like and share this message.